Wow. German and Cajas. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. With a body shot. That came out of nowhere. It looked, it looked like Ancajas was coming on, and even early in the round, Takuma was standing in front. Stand that came out of nowhere in a uh, pretty much lackluster fight, lackluster performance. From Look, he's still on the ground. And Takuma Inouye only has four KOs. Well, now five. German and Cajas just got stopped via body shot in round number nine. By Takuma Inouye. Um, Japan, it is 7.42. Look, he's fucked. 7.42 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, February the 24th, 2024. I'm Teach Tree Controversy with Fight View 360. Now 19 and 1 with 5 KOs. WBA, Bantamweight 118. Here's the body shot. And it was delayed reaction. Delayed reaction. I wonder which one was it. I wonder which one was it. Let's see if we can get another replay. You think it was? It, was, it had to be that one. It had to be that one. Uh, I apologize if I don't have my camera on. I've been uh, sick. Uh, but I didn't want to miss this fight. Didn't want to miss this fight. Well, well, um, sheesh. I can't say that um, Encajas is done, uh, but he definitely needs to go back to the drawing board. He looked slow, had no head movement, um, no bounce. Didn't really like he had a game plan. Uh, I was concerned about Inouye. Oh, wait, hold on, let's listen in. Because he kept trying to engage... Well, I was predicting that um, Takuma was going to win, but I didn't pre predict him to get a uh, a uh, stoppage. And I was saying to myself, like, you know, where does Encajas go from here? And he's only th 32 years old. He's not done. Um, but, you know, he just looks slow. And if I'm being honest, he hasn't been the same since COVID. I don't know what happened during that period of, uh, you know, that layoff between... Um, uh, December of 2019 to 2021 but since then he's now lost three of his last four two fights to uh, Fernando Martinez oh let's listen to the uh, post fight interview ご自身今日の so after defending his title, I, I knew that what coming into tonight, the, my opponent was going to be the best ever. I was really worried until today. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, and I didn't want to bore the audience going into full rounds, but uh, I'm really glad that we got these results. I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much. Well, 
打ち勝てたというのは、もう今後の自信にもなりましたし、やっぱこれから変わった井上拓磨を見せていきたいと思います。My opponent was so uh, so skilled, so strong, and which gave me so much confidence tonight. And I hope that I can uh, show everybody a new side of me of uh, moving forward. Second, the daughter of Shinko, and also the grandmother of Naoya, also supported me. Now, what are you going to do now? Yes, this is the final result. I'm very grateful for it, but I'm very grateful for it. I'm very grateful for it. I'm very grateful for it. So much gratitude towards my father and my brother for all of their support. I'm really glad that I got to get these great results tonight, and I'm just so grateful for them. Now, this bantam Q, really strong Japanese player is going to be there. Let's see what happens in the future. Can you give me a message for Takuma? Yes, definitely. WBA champion of Inoue Takuma is a bantam Q champion, and it's also a bantam Q champion. It's also a bantam Q champion, but it's also a bantam Q champion. まあそこの頂点は井上拓磨ありっていうところを見せていきたいです。ありがとうございました。見事防衛成功、井上拓磨選手でした。Future goals, I just want to keep showing the strong side of myself. Thanks for all your support. So let's talk. I'm surprised they didn't give him a ninja scroll and all these different trophies and everything like they do in uh, Japanese boxing events. So at one point in time, Inoue versus Joey, uh, uh, Naoya Inoue versus German and Kaz was a dream fight of mine. Um, but you know, that's, that's dead and gone. And the question is now, what does Inkahas do? You know, like a, a change in, in something's got to change, you know, a change in uh, strength and conditioning, a change in the team. But you know, right now, three of his last four is not looking good for him. Now, obviously I'm not saying that he's done. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is like, you know, there has to be some changes. Now, I think it makes perfect sense for now in Noye to take on Jinto Nakatani. Now, who, by the way, defeated uh, Alexandro Santiago for the WBC title earlier today. Here's some highlights, brief. Now, he's not known to be a big puncher, but he's got a body shot stoppage over somebody who's never been stopped. And, you know, gave him his first, you know, first stoppage. But he just didn't have no head movement, no anything, meaning in Cajas. Like, I don't know what he was trying to accomplish, or what was the game plan? He kept throwing the straight uh, uh, left to the body. I'm guessing to try to set up something up top. But it just always would either stray in low or just like barely grazing in Noye. And then after, you know, halfway through the fight, and Noye started staying in the pocket with him. And I was a little concerned. I said, okay, well, and Cajas is known to be a puncher. Oh, there's the body shot. Hold on. Let me rewind it back some. Let me rewind it back some. They're going to show it again. Put him right down. But there were three body shots that came before that. But it clearly hurt him because he was down for a nice little while after that. So now back to what I was saying. It makes perfect sense for Inoye to fight Nakatani to unify. We're still waiting on what's going on with this IBF situation. And you have Jason Maloney who's going to be fighting who I think that Inoye and nah, I'm not going to count Jason out too much. But I think Inoye and Nakatani would beat. Um, uh, Jason and Nakatani if he fought Maloney would beat both Maloney brothers if he was to fight him and meet him um, I think that this is the way to go Inoye versus Nakatani boom and then Maloney needs to go after what's going on with this IBF before one of them get to it and we could have a unification or undisputed fight at 118 pounds ban and weight sometime in the next within actually by this time next year it could be an undisputed give or take unless they do you know it's still February, late February, but still, it's possible. But that being said, nice, solid event here. I actually sat here and watched these uh, three fights. Uh, Kosi Tanaka versus, uh, Lord knows, forgot this guy's name, how to pronounce it. Takume Noye um, was the main event in um, Santiago versus Junto Nakatani. This was uh, uh, the corner throwing the towel in for right here. He just looked after the first knockdown that he just wasn't even with it anymore. So we are gearing back up to get back in the mix with uh, uh, boxing. I'm not counting Jerwin out yet. But definitely after losing three of his last four. You know he's. Some some significant changes have to be made with the team. Significant changes. You know or. You know he's just going to go to be a journeyman. With that being said. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm T Street Controversy with Fight View 360.